The features of this laser are insane, but does it truly give us what we need compared to other lasers? The We Create Vision is a 20 watt enclosed diode laser that has been shaken up the market with its innovative features and competitive pricing currently starting at $12.99. I am going to give you a real world look at this machine and show you how to engrave on various materials without all the fluff. Before you buy any diode laser, I think this video will tremendously help you out. Now there are some things you guys need to be aware of with this laser, so be sure to watch to the end where I wrap up all this information. We Create did sponsor this video, but they know I speak the good, the bad, and the ugly unbiasedly about any laser machine. After I got the vision out of its box, it's worth noting that everything was well packed. I immediately inspected the build quality and was pleased with the internal and external parts of the laser. The plastic shell feels solid and the white and gray color theme complements each other well. The weight is shy of 43 pounds and the overall dimensions with the unit fully lifted are 23 by 20.9 by 15.4 inches with an engraving area of 16.5 by 11.4 inches. Removable slat plates come with a machine that you can add or remove depending on the projects you are making. Since this machine is a plug and play, it requires no setup whatsoever. Whatsoever. On the back of the unit, you will find the exhaust, air assist port, and other self-explanatory parts. Okay, moving on to the features. One thing that sets this machine apart is the auto lift feature. This allows you to engrave large items because the top body of the laser will extend up, allowing for larger objects to be placed in the engraving bed. Now, a lot of laser companies will upsell you on a riser base, so this is a huge plus in my book. The HD camera is crystal clear and and allows you to see where the design will be engraved while using Make It, We Create software. Now, to be honest, the camera is probably the clearest I have seen on any enclosed laser machine from my hands-on use. The 20 watt diode has an engraving accuracy of 0.01, which is not far off from other competitor machines. One feature that I haven't seen anywhere else is the one-click speed and power setting, which lets you preview the effect on different materials before you engrave. This is the first time I have seen this on a laser software and I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but honestly, it has saved me a tremendous amount of time not having to run a test file on everything. Wrapping up on the main features, the Vision comes with a built-in air assist which turns on when the compressor is connected to the back of the unit. The air assist comes with any tier laser machine, so kudos to WeCreate for not upselling us on this either. Also, the optional 360 rotary attachment mounts inside the frame of the machine with two screws. I thought this was pretty innovative for an enclosed laser. Okay guys, for the fun part, let's run through these projects so you can see how this machine works. The first thing we are going to do is hook the USB cord from the laser to the laptop and open We Create Software, make it. The software recognized the machine right away and you can see that all of our controls are here and is pretty much self-explanatory. For all of my tests, I will be Frankenstein in this unit. I'm using my Extol smoke purifier, which is connected to the back of the vision. For the first project, I want to check the cutting consistency on 3mm basswood. I'm going to click on the model plane from the project market, which will bring it into the project canvas with the corresponding settings. When we click the autofocus button in the software, the laser module is going to hover over the material and measure where the design is laid. The machine will now adjust to the appropriate height and now we click send in the software and smash the start button on the front of the laser to begin the project. The reason for this specific test is because I am looking for clean lines and consistency throughout the cutting. This finished in no time at all, and the lines are nice and clean, just as I expected. Now, I wanted to add a splash of color to this, so I painted it with some paint markers, and it turned out pretty cool. And what you saw was live. This is the first time I've ever used this machine, so let's keep going. Next, we will engrave a toothpick to see how clear the small letters will be. I am looking for clean, crisp edges to see how much detail we can get in such a tiny engraving. And I think it passes, guys. For the next project, I am going to abuse the power of the 20 watt and try to cut through a piece of 20 millimeter hickory board. 
We create claims a max it can cut is 10 millimeter basswood with one pass, so I want to go above and beyond to test the power to show you guys. It's worth mentioning hickory is insanely dense, and after one pass, it made it about halfway through. I ran this a couple of other times, and it almost made its way through, but I was creating some embers and decided to stop. Even though we didn't cut through this piece of hard hickory, I'm still impressed. I wanted to show you guys the limits of this machine and what it can do. And if this would have been basswood, I'm pretty sure we would have got through it, but I have no complaints. The 20 watt is the right amount of power and I would say accuracy. I wanted to test the AI feature out on the Make It software, so I chose a picture of this bear and used the preset setting. As this was running, I could tell it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, so I ran it again. It turned out alright, but the realistic portraits take a while to dial in the right settings. Compared to the engraved portrait that came with the machine, which looks much better I might add, I might need to play around with the settings to get it where I want it to be. Now for the next test, I wanted to see how this would cut acrylic. I used the stock settings and it cut through with no problem other than I chose the wrong file for what I was trying to achieve. After my next test, I broke a piece trying to peel off the adhesive paper. Even though I messed up both of these projects, the point I am trying to make here is that the presets that come for the acrylic work great and if you are working with acrylic on this machine, I'm sure you will be fine. Using the same design, I wanted to make a larger project cutting through basswood. The vision powered through the Spartan helmet design consistently with no problem. After this was completed, I added some acrylic paint and photo metal finish and wrapped up with some gloss sealer and super glue. I think this turned out amazing. In fact, I think it may be one of my favorite projects I have done with a laser so far. I'm going to give this to my friend. He's going to hang it up in his house. He's into all kinds of stuff like this, like I am. So anyway, I'm really excited over this. Just imagine the stuff you can make and make money with. Like if I wanted to sell this, I'm sure he would buy it, but I'm going to give it to him. Let's go to the next project. I have never engraved denim before, so I took this old pair of jeans that were ripped and tested out a design using these stock settings. My biggest challenge was getting the jeans flat to ensure a level surface while engraving, but I think it turned out well. Personally, it's not my thing to engrave denim, but I could see where a lot of you would have fun with this one. The Make It software features a batch feature that automatically takes a chosen design and lays it out for you on multiple pieces of material. This laid out my logo just about perfect except for one wooden dot tag. The batch process feature is worth mentioning in this video, but to be honest with you guys, any enclosed laser machine that you have with a camera will probably have software that does this. Moving to the next project, I took a piece of cedar, sanded down its edges, and engraved an outdoor scene silhouette. This took a little bit to engrave because it is such a large area, but the 20 watt diode is staying consistent and pushing right through it. Okay, I think this looks good. Even though it's a simple yeah. project, the cedar sets it off. Now, I absolutely love the look of the cedar. Now, I did make a mistake. I put some cutting board oil on this to darken the cedar, and it kind of took away from the design a little bit. I mean, you can still see it, but before it popped a lot more. So, but anyway, all in all, I think that's going to be cool to put above a fireplace or something. And I cannot do a laser video without completing a serving board. So I tested this Mandalorian design on a small bamboo board. Now bamboo is not idea because of its shade inconsistencies in the wood, but it came out all right. Now let's try something I haven't done before. I wanted to make some leather wallets, so I downloaded two different wallet templates from Etsy. For the first wallet, I am using all 10 leather, which is around 3.4 millimeters thick. I guessed on the power settings, which I got a little high, but it is cutting right through without scorching it too bad. I wasn't able to get the leather perfectly flat in the engraving bed, but everything cut out great. I finished up by adding some leather cement to all three pieces and putting a saddle stitch on it. I think this looks so awesome. Now for the next wallet, I am using veg tan leather with a different design template. As the laser was cutting, I was a little worried that the stitching holes would scorch and not be a perfect circle since it was cutting out such a small design, but it ended up not being a problem. I will admit there is something so satisfying about cutting out these wallet templates. Since veg tan leather can be dyed, I made a sunburst effect using in two different dies and finished up with an eyelet, a snap, and white stitching. I may have found my new hobby with making these wallets. Now, from start to finish, if I were to do this again, I could probably do this wallet in about 20 minutes. And if I were to sell these, catch this. 
I would sell this for about 50 to 60 bucks. I would put my logo on there. And if this took me 20 minutes to make, that would be $60 right there. Another 20 minutes, another $60. So are you seeing the opportunity here that you guys can make money with? And this is cool. I'm impressed with myself. So <laughs> even though the laser did most of the work, but anyway, I will post a link below to these templates that you can download on Etsy. You guys have to try this. Now let's look at what a lot of people will want to do with this machine, engrave tumblers. If you opt for the rotary pack, you will receive a rotary set, which is a chuck, cylinder lift, and a few other parts. The chuck mounts on the left side frame of the machine with two screws you can take out and reuse to mount. This install was simple and took about two minutes. I set up a purple tumbler by locking down the jaws on the end and put the roller lift underneath the front to make sure it had support and was level. Inside the software, I am simply typing out and enlarging a name across the area I want to be engraved. For the power settings, I am using a preset for a red powder coated tumbler. And guys, my honest thoughts in the moment here as this is running is that I have never had such an easy time engraving a tumbler. This camera is dead on accurate and I didn't have to play around with the settings or make sure the tumbler was aligned perfectly straight. After the engraving was finished, I cleaned it off with a magic eraser and I couldn't be happier with the result. Let's try one more project with the rotary here. Since diode lasers can engrave glass without some sort of medium, I painted the front of this mason jar with black tempura paint and laid out a design. Everything turned out as expected. I think I will give this to my friend's daughter who loves the Mandalorian. To be honest with you guys, this has to be the easiest time I've ever had with engraving tumblers. The software made it super simple and the camera is so accurate. I just put this name on here and it engraved exactly where I wanted it to. So I am super happy. Even with the glass here, everything was just super simple to do and no hiccups whatsoever. I would be happy just to exclusively use this machine for tumblers because it's so dang easy, but those are some good results, guys. The features of this laser are insane, but does it truly give us what we need compared to other lasers? Now let's get to the most important part of this video. I'm going to address a few things you will need to consider before buying the WeCreate Vision. Number one, the smaller work area. Compared to other lasers, the WeCreate Vision has an engraving area of 16.5 by 11.4 inches. If we were to compare this, let's say to the Xtol S1, which has an engraving area of 19.6 by 18 inches, we can see there are around 11 more total inches, give or take, with the Xtol S1. Is this a deal breaker for the WeCreate? Certainly not, but you need to be aware depending on the projects you plan on making. If you want to do bigger projects, the Vision is only going to allow you to do so much in terms of size. And really, when considering any laser, be sure to look into the future to make sure it will fit your needs then as well. With this being said, the WeCreate Vision will accommodate a ton of different projects and will serve a good majority of people. And for the next thing on my list that I had a little hiccup with is the rubber flap seal. Now, I haven't seen anyone mentioned this so it may just be me, but I did have the rubber flap seal close inside the lid and a little smoke escaped on one project. So far it hasn't happened again, but I honestly think it may have been due to the rubber flap being bent the wrong way so long when it was shipped out. But it looks like it is working just fine now when closing the lid. Now this isn't a big issue for me, but I just want to give you guys my honest experience while making this video. I haven't seen any other reviewers complain of this, so I think it's fine. Other than these two things, my honest experience has been pretty positive. Now let's look at why you may want to go with the WeCreate laser. At the time of a recording, the Vision has four different packages you can choose from with each one adding more accessories the higher you go. If you consider the fact that the base package includes an air assist and can auto lift, I don't see any other laser at this price point giving you this features. This is awesome, guys. Most companies will upsell you on a riser base and air assist. I know this was a marketing strategy from WeCreate, and I think it was a smart one. And by the way, I am not knocking any other laser companies for upselling because they have to make money. It's really with anything you buy these days. You will find many other diode machines which are much cheaper because they are an open style diode laser, but I highly recommend you stick with an enclosed diode laser because they are so much easier to operate and all the features are worth the extra money in my opinion. 
The 20 watt diode is a great balance between power and engraving accuracy, and it's probably my favorite watt diode to use for standard projects. With the current starting price point of the Vision, I believe this laser machine was marketed towards people who want to get their foot in the door with laser engraving while having a solid machine at a good price point. With that being said, I think this is also a good choice for experienced engravers who need a smaller diode laser for their shop that they can put over to the side. You guys have seen a lot of projects in this video, and honestly, I didn't have one hiccup. As mentioned earlier, the engraving space will probably be the biggest deciding factor for a lot of you. If you plan on standard size and smaller projects, the Vision is a solid choice. If this is the laser machine for you, I will post links below to my recommended package for you to check out. I will try to have any current promo codes or the best price for this laser to save you guys the most money. Now these are affiliate links, so we create will give me a small kickback for each sale at no extra cost to you. I tremendously appreciate your support and I can't thank you guys enough. I truly enjoy testing this laser and I plan on using it even more. And to be frank with you guys, I have a lot of laser companies reaching out to me and other than another laser company I work with right now, WeCreate has been the only other one that I have really considered because I want to keep the standard of my videos high and I just don't want this to be an advert for lasers. I'm giving you guys my honest opinion and I spend hours scripting a well scripted video where I can articulate to um, an audience of any age. I just want you guys to know that as I do these videos because I spend a, a tremendous amount of time. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. So be sure to give it a like and save it as a resource so you can bounce back to it if you need to. The links to this laser will be posted below for you to check out and I appreciate you all so much. I'll see you guys later.